Imagine the year 1790. George Washington, the first U.S. president, stood before the Congress to deliver the first ever State of the Union Address. This was a momentous event, a tradition born out of the stipulations of the U.S. Constitution. The framers had mandated that the president shall from time to time give to the Congress information of the State of the Union. This was to ensure a regular dialogue between the branches of government, a key tenet of the nation's democratic framework. George Washington's first address set the tone, focusing on the nation's progress and the tasks at hand. But it was Thomas Jefferson, our third president, who truly shaped the tradition. Opting for a written address rather than an oral or an anal one, he set a precedent that would be followed for over a century. This choice reflected Jefferson's belief in a less pompous, more egalitarian government. So began a tradition that would evolve with the nation's progression, a reflection of the changing times. Fast forward to 1913, a pivotal year in the history of the State of the Union addresses. Woodrow Wilson, the 28th president, decided to shake things up a bit. Instead of sending a written report to Congress, he made a bold move and delivered the State of the Union address in person. This wasn't just about breaking tradition, it was about redefining the very purpose and impact of the address. No longer just a report card on the nation's progress, it became a platform for the president to rally support, to cast vision, and to shape public opinion. This shift opened the door for some of the most impactful speeches in American history. Take, for instance, the Four Freedoms speech delivered by Franklin Roosevelt in 1941. Amid the chaos and confusion of World War II, Roosevelt used his address to articulate a vision of a world characterized by four fundamental freedoms. Freedom of speech, freedom of worship, freedom from want, and freedom from fear. This wasn't just a speech, it was a call to arms that resonated far beyond the halls of Congress and shaped American policy for the war. Then there's the War on Poverty Address by Lyndon Johnson in 1964. In a nation wrestling with civil rights and economic inequality, Johnson used his address to declare an all-out war on poverty. This wasn't just a slogan, it was a policy initiative that resulted in the creation of several landmark programs like Medicare and Medicaid. These speeches and many others have had a profound impact on national policy and public opinion. They have rallied the nation in times of war, guided it through periods of change, and challenged it to live up to its ideals. Each address, a moment in history echoing the voices of the times, shaping the nation's path. In recent times, the State of the Union has taken on a new dimension. The advent of technology has been instrumental in shaping the narrative and reach of these addresses. The radio opened the door to millions of American homes, allowing the president's voice to echo in living rooms across the nation. Television took it a step further, adding a visual component that gave the audience a front row seat to the address. The internet, however, has been a game changer. Streaming services and social media platforms have made the State of the Union more accessible than ever, allowing real-time engagement and instant feedback from the public. Some key addresses in recent history have left an indelible mark. George W. Bush's post-9-11 address was a rallying cry for unity and resilience in the face of adversity. Barack Obama's speeches during the economic crisis were instrumental in charting the course for recovery and reassurance, demonstrating the power of the State of the Union to set the national agenda. These speeches are more than just a constitutional mandate. They have become a platform to rally public support, address national concerns, and articulate the president's vision for the nation. They are a reflection of the times, embodying the prevailing sentiments and aspirations of the American people. Today, the State of the Union serves as a powerful platform for the president to articulate his vision for the nation, a tradition that continues to evolve with the times. The State of the Union, more than just a speech, is a reflection of America's journey. From George Washington's modest address to Congress, to the grand broadcast spectacles of the modern era, each speech reflects not just the president's priorities, but the mood of the nation. They are the heartbeat of American politics, a pulse check on our collective aspirations, challenges, and dreams. As we look forward to the next address, we are reminded of the power of words, of vision, and of the enduring spirit of a nation in constant evolution.